be kitty girls welcome back to my channel and oh my god I have an episode of queer critiques for you yes my name's EJ Marino and this is the show where I talk about anything queer and up on this week's episode is one of the most shocking episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race yes I'm talking about All Stars 3 episode 6 Is this one of the most shocking eliminations in Drag Race history? Absolutely. I am so gagged by this. Like, my wig was snatched, my scalp was snatched as well with it. Like, holy hell, Drag Race. Like, I have been needing something like this all season. Like, after last season's, like, Valentina, I need you to take off that mask. I was like, how will Drag Race ever top an el elimination that shocking? Yeah, they did it. This week's episode has one of the most shocking eliminations, but I will be honest, the episode before this elimination, I just wasn't really feeling it. Like, the challenge was great, so let me start back at the beginning. So, the remaining queens walk into the workroom, we get the challenge for the week, and they're doing a girl challenge. Like, it's a girl group challenge, I usually love these ones, where they have to go and record and perform as a group. It's always great, but the twist, they have to go up against the eliminated queens, and yes, the drama starts instantly. I actually really like, like I said, I love the concept of the eliminated queens who go up against the remaining queens. It is a really good dynamic and proved to have some great drama. But it's not just the girl group drama. It is the drama between the queens that I am here for. You have Bendela going up against Morgan. You have Shangela against Thorgy. You have Milk versus Kennedy. Like, And then Trixie and Aja and all the rest of them are like, so, like, we've been bitchy, but, like, not this bitchy. We're not in this. It was some intense, like, back-to-back -back drama. Like, nothing will ever be as intense as Fifi O'Hara and Alyssa Edwards last season. But, but, this was pretty close. Like, Kennedy make Milk cry. Like, I did not expect Milk. I, I, it felt fake, but whatever. It was crazy to see, like, Kennedy just go in. If anyone was going to be raw and honest, I thought Kennedy and Morgan were going to be very honest about their feelings, about eliminating and being eliminated, and they did not let me down. Morgan went in on Bendela Cram, which shook Bendela the whole rest of the episode. And I mean the whole rest of the episode. So it was really interesting to see that, that kind of dynamic and how it was going to like get them ready for the main challenge, which, like I said, was performing in girl groups against each other. And the twist of that was if the remaining queens won, they had the choice of eliminating one of their queens and bringing back somebody. But if one of the eliminated queens won and their group won, they would pick one of the winners to go, whoever was the best, it would do like a top two, and they would win there, and then they would eliminate somebody. I was loving that, like, the whole time I'm like, okay, it was like math equations in my head, how is this gonna work out, who's gonna eliminate it, who's saving who, what's going on, and no matter what, I was still shocked, like, good job Drag Race for shocking me like you always do. On a personal fan note, I kept fearing Trixie was going to go home this episode. It was just like that interaction with Adam Lambert, some of the things Trixie said, I was like, oh god, is this the, is this the episode Trixie leaves? And thankfully Trixie was not the one to leave. It is just as shocking, not as personal for me, but just as shocking, like, I was really like into kind of like the conspiracy theory. Sorry, Thorgy, for saying the word conspiracy theory. Oh, Jesus. Gross. But the conspiracy theory of Drag Race this episode, like, who's going home? What's happening? What's the pieces? And it was cool because, like, I don't think the challenge really played in, the challenge itself really played into the elimination and what was happening. This was something that happened way before that. So you know what? I'm going to jump right into this elimination because I cannot keep it in me anymore. You, if you're watching this, you've seen the episodes of spoilers. I'm going to do that warning. Holy hell. I just, Bendela leaving makes the most sense and then no sense. Bendela has been doing great this whole challenge. Like, I mean, this whole season, like every challenge, Ben's like, thank you, I'll win that. Ooh, that lip sync looks nice. I'm gonna win that over here. I, have ex I, I really thought Ben was gonna win, but Ben, like you got to a point where unless Ben was gonna win, he had to literally shoot himself in the foot to leave. And Ben just didn't even shoot his foot just shot himself in the head and left the competition. Like, it was what a gag moment of Ben pulling out the lip sync. It says, Dela, I just, I, I didn't know how to take it. I sat there like, 
wide mouth for like a minute just being like what the fuck I just I love a moment like that do I want to see Ben leave like this no but like I said, I don't really think the challenge itself had anything to do with Ben wanting to leave or anything like that. It was the actual, the whole competition. Competitions are not for everybody. I've always said this about me personally. I would love to go on a reality show, get drunk and have fun, but to compete against somebody, and then especially in this setting, where I have to eliminate somebody, I have to break hearts, I couldn't do it. So I agree with Ben in that aspect. But do I agree how you should have left? I do think it was a little bit disrespectful to Rue to just be like, look, everything you're doing is great, but I want to leave. Bye. It's all about me. Girl, there's no miscongeniality to the season. A moment like this is only going to work with the fans, and the fans can see through it too. Like, I'm happy Ben wanted to remove himself from a challenge if he did not feel this was right for him. I respect that. But there's a different way to do it, or just don't come to the competition at all. It's All Stars 3. You knew what they did on 2. They were going to do it on 3. It, it, I'm so conflicted because, look, Trixie got to stay. Yay for Trixie staying. I'm a big fan. But, Ben, you could have done this a little bit better. Or you could have just eliminated Kennedy. We all want Kennedy to go. Like, first off, BB should have been in the bottom and BB should have went home. But if anything, Kennedy should have went home. Kennedy's like one foot out the door already, or one eye out the door already. I'm just, I just really am confused by a lot of this layout. But I will say, a shocking gag-worthy moment that Drag Race has not delivered this season yet. I, we get one at least once a season, and boy, did we get it in this season. So what do you think? Do you think Ben should have left the way he was going to go? Like, I don't really like how it was, but what do you feel about it? Also, now that we're down to this new top five, who is your pick to win this entire thing? Who is going to be in the Drag Race Hall of Fame? I'm still thinking Shangela is the most easy choice, but then it's like, BB keeps staying here for a damn reason. Trixie's still doing good. Who's it going to be? I don't know. So I want to know who you guys think is going to win down below. So that is it for this week's Career Critiques. I wanted to keep this episode short because like, we have a lot to talk about in the comments, like not even that I could talk about with you. I need to type this out like fast with you. I like, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? What did you think? What did you think of that? So thank you again for tuning into this week's episode. It always means the world to me, and I am sorry for taking a week off last week, but I had to talk about those season 10 girls because oh my god, that's something I cannot wait to get into. I don't want to say I'm over All Stars, but I'm ready for season 10. So thank you again for like letting me take that week off, talk about the season 10 girls. And thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you do give me a thumbs up if you like this. Please subscribe so you can see more videos just like this. I also do movie reviews on this channel. So check those out as well. Thank you again and tune in next week for another Queer Critique.